Greetings, wacky weavers, interminglers, crocheters around the world. Today I wanted to have a discussion, um, just basically, and it, you know, just a brief discussion about yarn and, and uh, fiber and the gauge and how that all interacts with our with these intermingled uh, mesh uh, blocks that we've been making or that the wacky weave or you know any of the other uh, interlocking type of uh, blocks that you've been making um, but it doesn't just apply to those it applies to any knit or crochet project uh, that you're ever going to do um, gauge and, and deciding on which fiber to use and and what weight fiber uh, there's you know, there's, there's a lot of discussion that goes around that, but I thought I would focus today's uh, brief little tips and tidbits uh, segment of flattening the uh, learning curve on these, on the difference uh, that you can achieve just by changing the weight of your yarn, um, how it affects the block overall, uh, size, uh, feel, look, and so forth. Um, I worked up. Uh, oops, sorry, I have an extra block in here. So um, I worked up several uh, exam sample uh, blocks here. These are all the same pattern. These are all my new um, beginner, beginner, um, a wee little ditty uh, pattern that I'll be using for for the beginner cow, which will be a video, actually be a video cow uh, for making this this block as a beginner. But I just wanted to talk about the yarn or fiber that's chosen to to use ahead of the game, as well as just to kind of just talk about that for anybody in general as a general topic. I knit these I did in in different weight yarns and and fibers for that matter. Um, this one here is done in a cotton. Okay, this is a, a DK weight cotton. It's the Moya 100% uh, natural cotton double knit, and I did that I I believe on on an F size hook. So we have a double weight, and just to kind of show these out, that's a, a double knit weight. This here is also double knit weight, but we can, let me set these aside. This is an acrylic DK. Um, I did that also, actually I did this on a, on a G, on a G hook. I did uh, the cotton on an F because I knew it would be too, it just felt like it was going to be too floppy if I tried to do it on a G like I did this one. This one here is an Encore, is the Encore DK. Uh, acrylic wool blend, you can see a big difference in just the general look of it, the fuzziness of the acrylic, the, you know, the wooly look of it. Um, the cotton is going, going to make for a lovely uh, baby washcloth. It'll actually be for every ray for her to, when she comes, as a little uh, newborn washcloth for her. Um, so Right there, these are both double knit yarn, double knit weight yarns. Okay, yet we get, you know, a, a bigger block here than we did here. And granted, I did use a G versus an F hook on this, but it still would have come out bigger. Um, it wouldn't have. This size difference um, isn't just the hook size, uh, although it does play into it. But you can see that difference in the two double knit weight yarns. And then I moved to a worsted weight. This is uh, Woolies uh, worsted weight um, yarn. It's a pretty standard worsted weight yarn and um, we can compare that against our DK. I also again jumped a hook size. Um, I try to, you know, obviously try to go up, um, go with the hook size that's, you know, um, applicable to that weight of yarn. But you can see here that again I've grown significantly right in my in my the size of my block. This here is it's a worsted weight, but it's really more to, it's a heavy worsted. It feels like more like an Aaron. This is in an acrylic cotton blend. This is Lion Brands cotton and cottonese. Um, again, you can see the difference in, in how the texture of the, um, the block looks compared to the, the Woolies, which is a wool acrylic blend. Um, 
the cotton has a much, you know, a shinier finish to it. Uh, you know, it's more washcloth looking. Um, it's it's in the in this block in a blanket it would be lovely, but this is actually a relatively heavy uh, cotton. But that there is um, it, it's labeled as it's labeled as a worsted, but it plays more like a, a heavy worsted or an Aran. Um, these both I used an H hook on, and they actually, even though I felt like this was going to come out bigger, they really did come out pretty much the same size. I would actually be able to join these two blocks, although the, the textures are too different for my for my liking to join those, but um, they actually came out pretty much the same size. This is the wheat yarn that I am going to use when I do the project, uh, the beginner cow with this with this pattern. This is, and I this is the first time I've done this with with the yarn, but I used the Berkshire bulky uh, webs yarn, uh, yeah webs webs yarn uh, valley yarns uh, for this block because. I can really see the definition of the stitches if I'm, when I'm going to teach it, it'll 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 show it well. So I'm going to use that heavy weight yarn. But this is, you know, I was thinking like, oh, that thick yarn, it's like that's going to be crazy, you know. But it really has a nice play to it. And for that, I believe I used a K K hook. No J. I used a J hook on that. And this is, and that's the difference, you know, look at that. It's like, okay, so that's, that's a bulky. These are all 10 by 10 blocks. So our stitch count is the same. Bulky, worsted, worsted, DK, and DK. This bulky weight yarn came out at seven, seven and a half inches by just under seven inches. And yet when it comes down here on that little DK weight yarn, that's only just under as shy of five inches. And it's about four and four and just shy of four and a half inches on the other the other direction. So clearly, you know, when you're thinking about your blocks, you know, think you know, when you don't have to do a hundred tiny little blocks to make a blanket. You know, you can you can think in terms of same stitch size, just jump your yarn and you can do, you know, a much bigger block, same amount of effort because you're doing the same amount of stitches. The other thing that I want to talk very quickly or briefly, not so much quickly, I'm probably talking too quickly, I want to talk about is how do you a lot of oftentimes we want to use our stash yarn and we want to use you know tidbits of what's left over from our yarn and we want to know you know is this worsted is this double dk is this iron what weight is my yarn the weight of the yarn can be determined by the wraps per inch excuse me while i'm reaching in front of your hair um, can be de determined by the wraps per inch of the yarn. Um, it's a very easy method to do and it um, can be determined pretty readily uh, with one of these wrap per inch tools or simply um, by taking a ruler uh, to do this. This here is a two inch, two inch space on this wraps per inch tool, okay? So if I want to determine how many wraps per inch this is on this tool, I can you know lay it against it and say like, oh, well, which one does it look like? Or I can sit and I can just wind this around. I'm going to line it up. That first one's actually, I'm not going to count because it's flipping. Just don't stretch the yarn. Just gently wrap it and do that until you fill that two inches. And don't don't squish it. Just gently lay it next to the next to the uh, yarn next to it and fill it up. This here 
and you should do more than an inch just in case the yarn varies. So, you know, that's why the, the WPI or uh, wrap per inch tools give you two inches to measure off of so that you, you have more than an inch, just like I said, just in case there's a variation in the width of that yarn. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have 16 wraps there. That would equate to eight wraps per inch. Let me share with you what that would mean in our, in our um, wraps per inch chart. Um, let me share my screen over here with you. All right. So our wraps per inch over here state that eight wraps per inch is between this, is in the bulky weight yarn, seven or eight wraps per inch. And then it gives you a gauge over here, three to three and a quarter stitches per inch. Um, so if you're, if, you're, if you're knitting something with or crocheting something, with this, you go uh, specifically actually knitting with this, you would get three to three and a quarter stitches per inch in a probably in a stockinette stitch on a bulky wheat yarn. But if those wraps come up at you know at seven or eight wraps to one inch, then it's a bulky weight yarn. This of course you can do with all the different weights and you just use the chart to tell yourself what it is. Um, you can do the same thing on a ruler, for instance. Just do kind of try to keep it to the same principle of don't wrap them too closely. Let's go around the end here. Do two inches and just wrap it around and see how many wraps per inch. I'm just going to wrap this and then push it because it's slippery in my hand. Frankly, the wraps for inch tool is really nice to have. <laughs> so if you're trying to substitute a yarn out, um, but you want to make sure that it's a good, you know, um, substitute for the one that it's recommending. Um, if you go on Ravelry, Ravelry actually uh, often will tell you what the wraps per inch are on a specific yarn. Um, so you can compare what you have to the one to that recommended yarn as well. Um, so you can see this has a lot more wraps to those two inches than, than that bulky had, right? So I'm pretty much there at the wrap to it. Let's oh, make a couple more because I'm beyond the nine. Well, they're nicely laid out flat next to each other. I'm just going to count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. I came out with twenty-eight wraps to an inch. And if I were to look back at my chart again, 20, 28 wraps to two inches would be 14 wraps to one inch. So 14 wraps to an inch on our chart is just coming in shy of the 15 on the sport weight yarn. Uh, or, or actually, what did I just say? 14 wraps to an inch comes square in on the 12 to 14 wraps for the DK weight yarn. So excuse me, I said the wrong thing there. But so yeah, I mean the the label is correct. And those 14 wraps, wraps to the inch come out correct. So trying to close the screen here. So 14 wraps to an inch to, to one inch is a DK weight yarn. So 
use that, use that tool. And I hope this is a helpful um, little tidbit for you in when you're looking at your yarns and, and, and trying to decide, you know, if a yarn is going to be appropriate for a project or whatever. The nice thing about these, these, um, these modular blocks are that as long as you use the same weight yarn throughout, uh, you're going to be able to join them all together to make your blanket. So you can use use up your 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 stash and your tidbits that you have, your little tidbits of yarn that you have left over. But this will be a good way for you to just uh, determine if a particular yarn is going to mesh well with um, your other blocks. I hope this was helpful. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all at peace. Take care.